Royal Nod, how Princess Margaret's tragic heartache helped pave the way for Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle became a royal in the spring of 2018 when she walked down the aisle at St. George's Chapel in Windsor and married Prince Harry. Here's how Princess Margaret paved the way for Meghan's royalty. Meghan and Prince Harry tied the knot in May 2018 in a lavish ceremony at Windsor Castle. But not so long ago, the wedding would have been impossible. Meghan, as a divorcee, could have been forbidden to marry into the royal family due to the strict rules of the Church of England. When Edward VIII refused to give up his American socialite lover Wallace Simpson, he was made to give up the throne. While Princess Margaret, who died at age 70 in 2002, was famously forbidden from marrying her lover Peter Townsend, a divorcee, in the 1950s. The doomed romance between Queen Elizabeth II's sister and Peter was fictionalized in Netflix's The Crown series too. Vanessa Kirby, who plays Princess Margaret in the series, suggested Princess Margaret set the precedent for Prince Harry to marry Meghan Markle. Asked by Marie Claire if Princess Margaret paved the way for Meghan and Harry, Vanessa said, It's interesting, isn't it? I can't help but think that she did. Margaret knew when she got involved with Peter Townsend that her family wouldn't approve and yet she wasn't going to give up. I think she was trying to modernize the royal family from the inside and make it better for people later on. It was ultimately the Queen who denied Princess Margaret's marriage to Peter. But the monarch did not try to stop her grandson's wedding with Meghan in 2018. Meghan is also divorcee, after the marriage with her first husband Trevor Engelson ended in 2011. The reason could be an important rule change which revised the Church of England's stance on divorce. As the head of the Church of England, the Queen must follow its teachings. This is believed to be why she did not allow Princess Margaret to marry in 1953, a time when the church forbid divorce. However, in 2002, the rule changed as part of the General Synod of 2002, which modernized the church laws. The new rule states, the Church of England teaches that marriage is for life. It also recognizes that some marriages sadly do fail and, if this should happen, it seeks to be available for all involved. The Church accepts that, in exceptional circumstances, a divorced person may marry again in Church during the lifetime of a former spouse. The change meant it was possible for the Queen to approve Meghan and Harry's marriage some 16 years later. The modernized Church law also allowed Prince Harry's father Prince Charles to marry Camilla Parker Bowles, Duchess of Cornwall, also a divorcee, in 2005. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.